Hey everyone, Vi Farley here. It is September 6th. It's kickoff to the 2018 NFL season. I'm excited. Uh, I am ready to get into some plays for you. I got four plays, three picks for this weekend, one for tonight. Uh, capping off this weekend, actually Monday, uh, is my favorite play of the game, uh, favorite play of the weekend. I'm going to get to that here in just one second. Let me say thank you to the subscribers. I appreciate it. Um, subscribe if you haven't done so. If you don't know who I am, uh, you can check out my other videos. Every day I got a baseball video coming out. Uh, this season we have uh, pocketed over $3,500 of profit in uh, just $100 plays all season long. So profitable there. Looking forward to the NFL season. Look forward to being profitable there. Also, college football plays have been coming out and will continue to do so. So subscribe, follow along for the season, and uh, hopefully I get you some content that you appreciate and enjoy. Uh, first, let me tell you, opening weekend of NFL, want to be a little conservative. Uh, not a lot of data out, so I don't want to extend myself too far. So I want to make a slow play here as we come into the season. Um, also, all of my picks typically are following line movement and betting percentages, trying to follow the sharp money. Uh, you're not going to see me often fade sharp money. If anything, I'll pass on it, uh, but I'll let you know that as well, where we're finding sharp plays versus just regular public plays. Um, I'll try and mention that throughout my uh, picks as we get going. So, all right. First game of the weekend that I like, that I got for you, is going to be a team I like to fade uh, when the opportunity presents itself, and that is the New England Patriots. I am fading them, going with the Houston Texans. Texans last year put up 33 against the Patriots. They end up losing 33 to 6. That's fine. I don't care if they lose this game by a field goal, because we're getting six points with the Texans. We got Deshaun Watson back. He did have a torn ACL. We don't know what we're getting back this year because he is a mobile quarterback, but great decision-making last year. He had his coming-out party against the Patriots where he put up the 33 and then didn't stop until his knee gave out. Uh, second, we got Clowney back, we got Watt back, and the defense is back. Um, this team is very amped to get back to the winning ways behind Watson, so I think they're pumped up. I think a great stamp on their season is going to be beating New England to start it. Last... Uh, New England Patriots behind Belichick, Tom Brady, first game of the year, 1-4 and four over the last five against the spread. They don't exactly come out to the season strong. Now, we all know in December there's no better team in history than Belichick, Brady, and the Patriots. But that's not the case opening weekend. Uh, as I said, 1-4 and four over the last five years uh, to start the season. So now we get a six-point spread with the hot Texans coming into town, a team I like and I'm high on. 64% of the public tickets over on the Patriots, 61% of the money is over on the Texans. Give me the Texans plus the six. If you got six and a half, by the way, some books have it, grab the six and a half. I'll take the hook there too. Um, all right, second game I have is going to be the Indianapolis Colts getting their quarterback back. Man, are they going to be excited to have Andrew Luck back. Jacoby Brissett actually did a pretty good job last year, and the defense really stepped up. How excited are they going to be? to uh, have Andrew Luck back at the helm, who, uh, you know, was typically getting 11 wins a season uh, behind him. I think T.Y. Hilton's going to be happy. You know, they got Jack Doyle and Eric Ebron at uh, tight end. They're going to be happy getting their plenty shares of looks. Um, so in this game, I'm also going to be fading the Bengals. Not super high on the Bengals. Same story here. Some people say Mixon is going to have a breakout season. Not really buying it. Not with Andrew Dalton and Lewis at coach. I think we got a mediocre team at best. And first game, they're going into the Colts, who uh, will look to put on a show. 74% of the tickets are over on the Bengals. 87% of the money over on the Bengals. But meanwhile, the Colts line has gone from uh, a pick em all the way up to two and a half uh, for the Colts. So... Line moving towards the Colts. We're going to have bigger money coming in on the Colts. And again, it's Andrew Luck at home. I'm taking Luck. So give me the Colts minus two and a half. All right, now let me get into my favorite play of the weekend. I love this play. We have the Rams going against the Raiders. So the Rams, I am really high on. Love their offense. Absolutely love their offense. Very explosive. Todd Gurley in the backfield. Jared Goff finding his own. Uh, Cooper Cup at wide out. Brandon Cooks at wide out. I mean, just weapons all over the place. And their defense is really good as well. Um, I like their defense. Don't love it. Love their offense. And they're going against the Raiders, who I'm really down on. Um, season win total, I would go under on the Raiders. Uh, what is it, five and a half? I'm going under there. Um, 
not a big fan of the Raiders. Uh, looking to move to Vegas this season in, a, in uh, uh, Oakland. So uh, just not going to be a fan of them. I'm looking for this to be a 10-plus point win for the Rams. Give me the Rams. Lay the four. I think it's an easy one. 96% of the money following the Rams. 83% of the tickets following the Rams. All right. For tonight, uh, I'm going with the Atlanta Falcons. So the Falcons were a two-point favorite last playoff going into Philadelphia. They end up losing 15 to 10. They've had all off season to think about the Philadelphia Eagles. Meanwhile, you got Nick Foles going on to win the Super Bowl. Um, all the hype interviews and distractions going on for Philadelphia all off season. And now they find out Carson Wentz not going to be able to start the season. Nick Foles starting quarterback. Um, yes, there's weapons all over, but I look for them to play a half step behind the Atlanta Falcons. I'll take the Falcons out of Pickham now. Um, they were as a big dog. Uh, if you had got them and money line earlier, congratulations. But I'll be taking the Falcons tonight myself. So there you go. If you have any picks yourself, feel free to throw them down in the comments. I always like to see those. If I can, I'll throw a comment on each one of those as well. I've gone through and kept every single game. So um, I do have other opinions. But those are my uh, three picks plus the uh, game tonight. Good luck, everyone. I'll see you again throughout the season.